Whoever says the Quran is the speech of a man, Sa'uslihi saqar. I will throw him into the fire. A fundamental article of faith for Muslims is that the Quran is the literal speech or word of Allah. From the Muslim perspective, this means the Quran is eternal and divine, and in no way the word of a man or human messenger. In fact, according to Surah 74, a person who says the Quran is the word of a man or human messenger will be cast into hellfire. Allah calls the Quran my speech, kalamullah. And this leads us to a very important theological, aqadi principle. And that is that we as Muslims believe that the Quran is not just a human book. The Quran is not just a compilation. The Quran is not the words of a man. Whoever says the Quran is the speech of a man, Allah describes him as somebody who's a non-Muslim, right? In هذا إلا قول البشر What's, what is Allah going to do to somebody who says this is the words of a man? Sa'uslihi saqar. I will throw him into the fire. This raises a problem because on at least two occasions, Muhammad in his recitation of what Allah allegedly told him to say, did not simply refer to the Quran as the word of Allah transmitted by him, but rather referred to the Quran as the word of an honored messenger. In Surah 69 it says, So I do call to witness what you see and what you see not, that this is truly the word of an honored messenger. It is not the word of a poet. And in Surah 81 it says, Truly this is the word of a most honorable messenger, one endued with power, with rank, before the Lord of the throne. The problem this generates is twofold, both of which come to the same conclusion. On the one hand, simple logic dictates that this must be a reference to Allah. If the Quran is the word of Allah alone, and the Quran is the word of an honored messenger, then Allah is an honored messenger. If A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C. However, if Allah is an honored messenger, it means Allah had honor conferred on him by someone else, and is a message bearer for someone referred to as the Lord of the Throne. And if that's the case, then the Quran teaches polytheism. And Muhammad, by propagating the Quran, is guilty of associating partners with Allah in his divinity, a sin he elsewhere said merits hellfire. On the other hand, if the honorable messenger of these verses is Muhammad, it means the Quran is the word of a man. Muhammad was not a Muslim, and Allah sent him to hell. Whoever says the Quran is the speech of a man, Allah describes him as somebody who's a non-Muslim, right? In هذا إلا قول البشر What's, what is Allah going to do to somebody who says this is the words of a man? Sa'uslihi saqar. I will throw him into the fire. And so either Muhammad peddled polytheism or he taught that the Quran is the word of a mere man. In either case, he went to hell. Whoever says the Quran is the speech of a man, Sa'uslihi saqar. I will throw him into the fire.